Hi everybody, this is Miss Mays, and today I'm going to show you how to make a box with a lid in Tinkercad. So when you log into Tinkercad, you're going to be taken to your homepage, and you want to click on Create New Design. And today I'm going to show you how to make a square box, but you are welcome to make any shape that you want with any of the geometrical shapes that they give you. Um, a box is just the easiest to show you how to make um, a box in a lid. So I'm going to start by dragging my box over. Um, and I don't want to make it too big because this blue work plane here, this represents what we call the bed of the 3D printer. So if you go look at the 3D printer, you'll see the bed of what the nozzle prints on. And this represents the size of that. So you don't ever want to make something that's as big as this um, work plane here because it would take a really, really, really long time to print. And we don't want it to take forever. Um, so I'm going to make a box that's about 60 by 60 and I can make sure that I have those measurements by going in here and editing the numbers. So this one is 60, this one is not. So I'm gonna edit this and type in 60.00. And now my box is 60 by 60. Um, it's also a little short, so I would like to make it taller. I'm gonna grab this white box right here and you can see that it gives you little arrows that point um, vertical. So you know you're touching the right one. These ones um, will help you raise your box. So think about that tall should be good. Um, let's make it 40. So we have a 60 by 60 by 40 box here. And um, it's just a solid cube. We need to make this hollow so that we can put cool things inside of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this shape here and you're gonna hold Command C and then Command V for paste. P was taken for print, so we do Command B. You could also just drag another box over here and resize it, but for the sake of time, we're gonna do Command C to copy, Command V to paste, and um, we're just gonna make this a little bit smaller. So we are gonna shrink this box to be 55 by 55, and you can double check your numbers on the side here. So, Let's see, I've got a 56 by 55 box. My other number is um, behind that shape menu. 55 by 52, you know what? It's just gonna be easier to go in here and type 55. And I'm working behind that shape plane, but we can move it later. Okay, so here's my um, slightly smaller box. I'm gonna change the color so I can clearly see what I'm doing. I like purple, so we'll change it to purple. And we're gonna slide this right inside of my other box. So you don't want your walls too thin, but you don't want them too thick either. So it looks like this is, you know, a good length um, or width for size of a box. And then right now as it is, if I make this a hole, I'm gonna make a hole in the side of my box. So I'm gonna take this little cone shape and I'm gonna raise up the hole so that there's a space between the bottom of the hole and the bottom of the box. And I'm gonna make this a hole. And if I flip this around, you can see um, that there's not a hole in the bottom of the box. So in order for this to become one shape, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click somewhere in the work plane, the blue part of the screen, and I'm gonna drag and highlight both shapes. And then what we need to do is hit the group button, which is up here. And now it's a box. Ta-da! Pretty awesome. Okay. Now to make a lid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this shape that I just made. Remember I highlight things and then Command C for copy, Command V for paste, and everything is still highlighted. I'm actually gonna ungroup what I just did. So now I have two, um, two boxes, one with the hole and one with the, um, the box shape. And I need the size of this hole because that's the side of the size of the lid that I want. So I have, um, this is going to be my um, notch that goes inside of the box. So I want this to be definitely way smaller. So I'm going to, oops, wrong button, hit the square and just make this, uh, let's do eight millimeters. So, oh, that's a little thick. It's important to change your work plane as you're working so you can see the thickness of things. Let's do three millimeters. I think that would be a good notch for the lid. Okay, 
So this is going to fit right inside of here. And then we need a top that's going to go across the top. Um, so this, I'm going to change this to purple since it'll just be easier to keep track of. Um, and I'm also going to shrink this down. Boop, 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 boop. And I'm going to slide this right under here. I'm going to rotate my work plane so I can see what I'm doing a little better. I'm going to move this box out of the way. Slide this here because uh, I want this to be centered. Okay, that looks pretty centered to me. Um, notice I didn't have to change the height of anything because I just copied and pasted what I had. So you can see clearly I have this bottom here and this little notch. And I'll show you how this is going to fit together once we print it. And you do want, when we print things, it prints from the bottom up. So we want bigger pieces on the bottom and smaller pieces on the top. So we want the smaller part of the lid on the top. And it looks like it's not quite center to me. So I'm going to fix that. Okay, that looks a little better. And we need to group the items together to make one lid. So we group them together, and now we have this wicked cool lid in our box. So here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna raise this thing up. I'm gonna flip it over. And so it'll work just like this when you print it. So you can test it like that. You just wanna put it back when we print. Um, 180 degrees, bring it down to the work plane. So you, when we when you send me your design, I need it like this so it will print properly. And now you can do whatever you want to customize your box. You can put holes in the sides, you can put a knob um, on the top of your box lid, you can put handles on the sides of your box, it's whatever you want to do. So I hope you guys have fun creating your box in Tinkercad.